And we start with continuing coverage at four. The upstate law enforcement community prepares to lay one of their own to rest. This is another procession for Sergeant Conley Jumper. His body escorted from Greenville to Simpsonville early this morning. He served in law enforcement for almost 28 years before he was killed in the line of duty on I-85 Tuesday afternoon. And all new here at four, we are learning more about the charges this guy is now facing, including murder. SLED confirms Ray Kelly is the one who stepped on the gas, dragging Sergeant Jumper across the interstate. And that's when Sergeant Jumper was hit by a tractor trailer. Fox Carolina's Michelle Zhu was inside the courtroom this morning where the judge found Kelly in contempt of court twice. He did moments in the courtroom today as 37 year old Ray Kelly did not cooperate with the judge. Plus arrest warrants from SLED share gruesome details stating that Kelly killed Sergeant Conley Jumper with reckless indifference to the value of human life. According to arrest warrants, Kelly was unable to show a driver's license at a traffic stop on I-85 Tuesday. When Sergeant Conley Jumper arrived to assist other deputies, Kelly was, quote, actively fighting and resisting deputies' lawful arrest and physically assaulted them by pushing, striking, and pulling away. The warrant says as Kelly continued to resist, he got back into his Nissan and intentionally drove it into oncoming traffic while dragging Sergeant Jumper. SLED says Jumper struggled to break away and was quickly struck by an 18-wheeler. Jumper was briefly pinned between both vehicles, resulting in his death. At this morning's bond hearing, Kelly came in hunched over, escorted by multiple officers, seemingly avoiding the camera. He could be heard trying to speak over the judge with claims like, quote, I reserve all my rights and no one represents me. I challenge jurisdiction. I challenge jurisdiction. The judge subsequently extended Kelly's jail time for disturbing the court, initially giving him 15 days contempt, but that did not hold Kelly back. This is illegal and this is treatment. I'm going to give you 30 days contempt. Officers, thank you very much. Kelly also faces drug trafficking charges, possession of a weapon during a violent crime, resisting arrest, among others. Arrest warrants say agents found a handgun and 81 grams of cocaine in his car. Now, Kelly will remain locked up behind bars at the county jail before he appears before a circuit court judge. Meanwhile, SLED continues to investigate. You can stick with Fox Carolina for the very latest. Reporting in Greenville, Michelle Zhu, Fox Carolina News. Now, the second person arrested during that traffic stop was Tornell Laureano. She went before a judge on Tuesday. She is facing drug trafficking and weapons charges. Well, I should say she went through it on Wednesday. She will remain behind bars until she can face a general sessions judge. Excuse me. And I should mention the only charge she is facing right now is drug trafficking.